Hello guys, this is Nick from HF Survival School and Max of course. So I was able to come back in the mountains. I had a really harsh two weeks of mid-semester exams at university and of course when I ended it I went back to the mountains. So I'm back here in my beechwood forest where I have my chair which I made in the summer and I have moved it a little bit about 10 or 20 meters next to this cut down tree and today we will be doing some spoon carving and I will be showing you guys some of my uh, leather, craft, uh, leather crafts and some of the projects which I have been doing while sitting at home so I have moved this chair next to this log and it is pretty uh, short but really this was, this was the best option to do some carving and I will turn this place into my uh, carving place so I will be coming back here because this is uh, this place is all on angle and it is pretty bad for uh, slipping on the ground so uh, I will be back, come back in here for an overnight maybe well when I will be able to get a hammock and do some hammock camping here because it is a perfect place for that and uh, without that I will be doing some uh, spoon carving and other uh, woodworking projects in here because it is a really peaceful place there are a lot of, a lot of birds uh, it is a beech wood forest and beech is uh, a really good wood for spoon carving and other projects also because it is really easy to carve when green and when it dries out it is very hard so now I will cut one one piece which will buy which I think will be good for um, uh, making a spoon and I will be right back Max. so guys I was able to harvest this big piece of wood with my axe and it was a leftover from the woodworkers about in a 100 meters from me which were cutting wounded as you see it has started to dry out on this side but on the inside it is all wet so that means it, that means it is still green <laughs> and that means it will be perfect for our spoon now I cut a bit a little bit big but now I'm trying to saw it in the middle to make a nice length spoon length Max. Max. so guys as you see I sawed the piece in half and now the next part is to split it in half and then again in half and then we can uh, start carving the spoon because we will be left with the spoon blank now it started to get quite cloudy and it doesn't really look that good and the forecast says 100% rain but that's why I brought my tarp with me so that there is nothing that can mess up my session for of the spoon carving and I can finish it without any problems so if it starts to rain I'll quickly set up my tarp and I'll be safe from the rain so now let's split this in half So now that looks great and now I will split it like this and then like this. There we have a perfect spoon blank. Now I can take a little bit more from this side. It would be really better to take my small hatchet with me but uh, I didn't take the small hatchet because I'm only for a few days up here and I didn't want to take too much stuff and I need this big axe on my tomorrow's trip This splits end up like 
about right here, so now I will saw that piece. Just like that, and now we are left with a nice blank. I will. I think it has started to rain, so I will put up my tarp. So guys, just like that, I messed up pretty easy. It started to rain very seriously, very quick. It was like this, and it was all raining. So I really underestimated it, but I was able to put out the tarp, put up the tarp. But really, now it is late, it is just dripping a little. So now let's continue the spoon carving. So I think the rough blank is ready and I want to make the shape like this, kind of like S shape. So now I will make a small saw cut right here and a small saw cut right here so that I can remove the material from like this and like this and I'll have that kind of S shape spoon. Also I forgot to take water with me, I filled up the canteen and <laughs> left it home so I put this uh, uh, to, um, guy line which I had with me on this uh, loop I cinched it down and so that all the water goes there and put this string inside my pot and this way all of the water will collect in the pot and as you see we have some water I need to be careful not to go too deep Just like that, that looks great. Now I'll uh, put a small cut also over here. So that should be enough. So this will be my spoon side. I'm pretty sadly, I didn't took any kind of you know, drawing uh, pencil or a pen to draw the rough shape of the spoon. And uh, I have to you know, carve it like this. So I'll cut this like this and I will cut this handle like this. <laughs> now I regret not taking the uh, small axe. coming from the, this side. And now is the tricky part where we need to remove this part like this and this side like this. So I think I should go a little bit deeper on here with the saw and remove a little bit more material. Now let's remove these sides. somewhat good and now I will do this side this needs a little bit more so 
that looks not that is not the best looking but I think it is it will do the job for now so now let's get to uh, removing these materials from the sides and give it a little bit more spoon look so guys I was able to collect a small amount of water I don't know if you see it and I was also able to collect a few ticks a few bugs and a few worms inside the water <laughs> but I'm really I want to drink water very badly and I will still drink it but I will try to remove a few of these bugs you know just in case That felt good. Hope it rains more and I will be able to collect some more water. So now let's continue carving our spoon. I took a piece of coal from my previous campsite and I will draw my rough uh, shape of the spoon with this. So now that somewhat gives me a rough idea of where I need to place the cuts. <laughs> so <laughs> if the hope that makes sense. Now I will make two cuts, one here and one here, so we can remove the material with our axe. And remember guys, this is my first spoon, well not the very first because I did a test run of a small teaspoon but it was a real bad wood from my uh, yard next to my apartment and this is a really first proper try at carving an eating spoon. Just like that, the cuts are a little bit off, but I'm sure I will be able to fix it, fix that. Now, let's remove the material with our axe. Now let's round out the rough edges and then we can go to uh, carving it with our knife because the more material I remove with my axe, the less work will I have to do with my knife. So 
So guys, just like that, I think I finished my X work. I, of course, I could continue working with it if I was not a, a noob with and not a beginner with my X skills. So now let's continue with it with our knife. I will do the rest carving with my Mora 510, which I really love, and that as it looks, it will rain again. I think this grip, which some people call the chicken wings grip, is pretty powerful and a pretty good grip for the job which I'm doing now. And that is removing a lot of materials and therefore I need really power cuts. Now I'll do this grip, which is a real powerful grip. And if you do it perfectly, you won't cut yourself. Just like that, it will start to rain again. At this time, we are prepared. It's a really bad thunderstorm, guys. As you see, with all of the thunderstorms that have heavy rain, and Max sitting here <laughs> trying to sleep, being scared. And it started to. Be quite windy weather also. They are quite a big, uh, quite big winds. Ain't, ain't it good or what? So uh, one thing it will be better is that uh, it will be very awesome now having a hammock and sleeping inside the hammock in this weather or staying under. Uh, I really need to get one. So now let's go to the car. So now I'm carving and. I'm really enjoy enjoying it, but one thing really messed up my mood. I just realized that I forgot all of my memory cards at home and on this memory card I have like about two minutes left. So that really messed up my plans because I wanted also to carve a spatula here and show you guys some leather crafts here. So now I have to continue filming, carving the spoon. And after the uh, memory card is full, I have to go home in this rain. So that is pretty messed up. Now the rain will be still for like 2-3 hours. And my plan originally was to carve more stuff and to keep on filming and until the rain would stop. But now I have to walk back home in rain. My plans always mess up in the woods <laughs> so as you see I'm pretty good at this moment so now I need to uh, remove some more material and then I will go to carving out the actual spoon part the actual bowl bowl or whatever it is called with my hook knife but first I need to uh, bring it a little bit more closer to the uh, final shape. I finished carving the rough edge of the spoon and I think I'm pretty satisfied with it at this moment and now is the time to carve out the actual bowl and for that I have a very special tool a crook knife made by Ben Orford from the United Kingdom. I had the Mora, Mora hook knife in my shopping chart for a long long time, like over a year and I didn't quite I was able to find the $25 to buy it. I had to buy more important stuff and in this month a very few generous subscribers were able to donate some money to me and they helped me out really much and I was able to buy this tool and I was advised by my friends which are uh, really good spoon carvers kind of professional spoon, spoon carvers to not buy the Mora hook knife and add the money and get this instead because it is a 01 tool still 
and it is mirror sharp and has only one bevel and I mean it doesn't have a bevel because the Mora hook knife has double bevel and you don't really need that and that's why it is very versatile and I would like to thank those subscribers who helped me out very much so now let's get to carving the bowl man it cuts like butter make sure to go across the grain with your spoon knife and make sure to keep your thumb out of the way to not cut it so I have about one minute left on my camera so I have to save a little bit more so I will check with you guys when I finish carving this bowl just like that I messed up my spoon when I was carving it this part snapped off and it didn't come out quite uh, the way I wanted but overall I like the shape of it and the form of it and now I'll take it home and do some sanding but I wanted to show you my uh, leather crafts in this video so now let's go home because I have like 20 seconds left on my memory card and I'll show you my uh, leather crafts from there so guys these are some of the crafts I have been making while being at home. So let's start with the X. On my X I have made an X collar like this, as you see. A beautiful X collar, which has been already used. And an X mask. I made two X masks. This one is for sale. And this is my personal one. As you see, this one has brass uh, rivets. and have high quality USA made snaps so they are covered with beeswax the edges are burnished as you see as you see and it will fit your uh, Hulta Forge clashing, uh, classic filing axe perfectly the next item I have been making is this wet molded opinel sheath for your belt it is covered with beeswax also as you see it is burnished beautifully and it has a really nice fit in it which will get better and better after more use then this is my personal one this is my uh, fair rod belt loop as you see this is the design I came up with and as you see it is burnished covered with, covered with beeswax and all of these items are uh, dyed by me and uh, I don't have access to those alcohol based dyes so I have to uh, improvise and use some water based dyes which are not as effective as you see it came off a little bit after use but I think it looks even better and I just love this rustic look and it will fit half inch uh, thick ferro rods with no problem and you, uh, you guys and I hope you guys remember the original design of mine which I had Oh, but the problem with that was because it was uh, come down, coming down like this uh, it was impossible to take it out with one hand but this eliminates that problem and you can take it out with one hand and the project that I'm most happy about is this belt sheath for my Qdoman MT5 as you see it is wet molded and it has a perfect fit it got a little bit dirty after use it is covered with beeswax and really I had a crappy uh, um, leather piece which I was throwing away but I decided to give it a dry and make a sheath for myself and as you see it came out just great it is just beautiful as you see burnished edges covered with natural beeswax now I have a, a few of these ferro bed loops all of these items are for sale except the ones which I made for myself so this X mask is for sale this opinel sheath 
I have uh, two or three of these uh, ferro belt loops and I can also make uh, custom shifts uh, for your uh, knives. So now I will be taking some custom orders if you um, uh, will want to so do so. I can make uh, everything uh, from the items which I have. I, so uh, I can make uh, shifts for your Mora knives. I can make sheaths for your Kudeman. I can also make a mask for the uh, Hult, uh, Husqvarna hatchet, the Hulta Forge X and other items which I have in my own gear so that I can make them uh, fit properly. So if you'll be interested to uh, get one of these items for yourself, uh, you can check it out on my Facebook group which is called Nix Crafts. So guys, this is the spoon which uh, we have made yesterday and as you see it is asymmetrical. I snapped uh, a little bit from here so destroyed all of my hard work. I hollowed out also on this handle so can I, I have so that I can have a better fit as you see and here is the spoon and I think for a first spoon it came out quite not bad what do you think tell me in the comments below one thing I need to work on is uh, smoothing out this bowl part with my hook knife because as you see it is pretty rough and every place which I could smooth with my um, regular knife I could smooth I smooth it and also um, on these places uh, it was this material it is it is quite thin on this place so I didn't want it to make uh, to destroy this spoon so I just left it like this tell me in the comments below about uh, how did you like my leather crafts and really I'm a beginner I just started a few months ago and I just uh, got the proper proper tools for like a few weeks ago but I'm really proud of my work and I think they look not bad and as other people told me I have a good potential so if you want to help out the channel you can buy this any kind of leather projects or make orders with me uh, orders to me uh, and I will make uh, custom make them for you and all of the items which I have already made are uh, available for sale on my Facebook group and uh, if you see that uh, you will see also the prices if you are interested uh, so um, I started to uh, sell this uh, leather goods because I don't know how much you heard about it but there is this, this YouTube boycott going on so at this moment I'm not earning any any money from YouTube I'm earning like a few cents a day so that is like nothing in month so I'm having a pretty hard times and uh, last month it was like this but with the help of a very few general subscribers I was able to make it through the last month and I was really thankful to them and all of their support so if you wish to support the channel and support me and support what I do uh, you can uh, do that and I'm getting smoked out from my own shelter so if you want to support my channel and make me uh, and help me out making more videos more often and to upgrade my quality and if you are available to do so you will help me very much if you support me on patreon and you really don't need to support me with big amounts one or two dollars with work and when a few people like you will do the same thing and donate one or two dollars it will uh, in some it will help me a lot and uh, I will include the link all of the important links down in the description so if you wish to support me check it out and also uh, if you are not able to do so just drop a like and drop a com comment and you will make me uh, more happy and you will make motivate me to do more videos so uh, I hope you guys enjoy that video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video on your social media. New videos coming as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.